The Thread Stalker is open by clicking on the Threads icon in the lower right corner of the screen. You can use the Thread Stalker to apply a specific color of a specific brand of thread to your design. Auto Hide is activated to keep the docker open as you make your selection. The first icon in the title bar is the Select Thread Chart. Click it and it a dialog box will open so that you can choose your favorite brands of thread to work with. Isocord is the default color used by the software. Anything on the right side of the dialog box will be displayed in the My Threads Docker. To send all the thread charts to the right, click on the double pointed arrow that points to the right. Then all of the thread colors will be displayed in the Threads Docker. You can send them all back by clicking on the double pointed arrow and then use the control key to select the specific brands that you want to consider. Click on the single arrow to send the selected brands to the right. Manage thread charts is available to edit these charts. This will be covered in a later video. Click OK and that closes the dialog box. The next icon is called Show Thread Details and it toggles the thread details on and off. When the details are shown, the icon turns blue to indicate that it is activated. The names of the thread colors and the thread brands show. The blank area that you see is how you can search for a specific name or code of thread. You can type in a color name, and if it is a color in one of your selected brands, it will appear. You can also type in a code number and that number will appear. Or you could type in just a general color name and then all the threads that have that general name will show in your list. To change an object to a color, first select the object and then double click on the color chip in the threads docker and the thread color will change to that specific color. If you wish to restore the entire chart, highlight the entry in the white bar, press delete and the colors will return. There is a scroll arrow on the right so that you can scroll through colors and you can click on the code, the name, the chart, or the color, and it will sort the chart. Click again on the title and it will sort in descending order. The last icon is called Match and Assign All. When you click on that, the closest match will be selected and when you rest your cursor on the color chip in your color palette, the closest match will be displayed as well as the color brand.